Amid the vast, lush green fields, there is a small but immensely valuable crop, both economically and nutritionally. Green peas. These tiny, vibrant green pearls, seemingly simple, are the result of an intricate journey from planting, nurturing, and harvesting to modern processing. Green peas are one of the most widely grown and consumed agricultural crops globally, with an annual global production exceeding 21 million tons. From the fertile lands of Europe, the expansive prairies of North America, to the verdant fields of Asia beautiful and Africa, green peas have become an indispensable part of the global agricultural landscape. Each year, the global commercial value of this crop reaches over $4 billion, with Canada, the United States, and China leading in production and export. The trend toward plant-based diets and the demand for healthy eating continue to drive this market's rapid growth. And in today's video, we'll embark on this journey together exploring the story of green peas in the U.S. and around the world so you can better understand a vibrant tale of traditional agriculture combined with modern technology and how to apply it in daily life. To achieve such bountiful harvests, the first requirement is an ideal farming environment. Green peas thrive in cool climates with an optimal temperature range of 10 to 20 degrees Celsius. The soil must be loose, well-drained, and rich in organic nutrients. That's why states like Washington, Wisconsin, Oregon, and Minnesota in the U.S. have become key production areas with their temperate climate, early springs, and fertile soil. On the global map, countries like Canada, the U.K., France, China, India, and Kenya are also major production hubs, shaping the global green pea market. As winter fades, farmers begin preparing for the new planting season. In the U.S., planting typically occurs in early spring, around March to April, when the soil is just warm enough, about 4 to 7 degrees Celsius, but not too hot to affect germination. In warmer regions, a secondary crop can be planted in late summer, from August to September, for harvesting before winter frost arrives. The first task is soil preparation. Farmers use modern machinery, like disc harrows and rotary tillers to loosen the soil, improve aeration, and remove weeds, creating optimal conditions for pea seeds to germinate and thrive. Before planting, pea seeds are often treated with nitrogen-fixing bacteria inoculants. This helps the plants naturally enrich the soil with nitrogen, protect against soil-borne diseases, and increase germination rates. The planting process today is almost entirely mechanized, utilizing modern technology. Automated seed drills operate with near-perfect precision across vast areas, planting seeds at a depth of 2.5 to 5 centimeters, spaced 2.5 to 5 centimeters apart, with rows evenly spaced 45 to 60 centimeters apart, ensuring the plants have enough room to grow. Planting is just the beginning. For young pea plants to grow strong, the nurturing phase requires meticulous care and a harmonious blend of farmer's experience and modern agricultural technology. 
As pea seeds begin to germinate, American farmers rely on advanced irrigation systems to provide consistent water, keeping the soil sufficiently moist for healthy plant growth. Fertilizers are evenly distributed through modern equipment, ensuring plants receive the exact nutrients needed without waste. Green peas are susceptible to pests and diseases like powdery mildew, downy mildew, or pod borers. Instead of overusing chemical pesticides, many farms adopt biological pest control methods. Across vast green fields, sprayers move effortlessly along rows, lightly misting leaves to protect plants from pests. Thanks to modern technology, caring for green peas has become simpler, ensuring robust plant growth and the best possible harvest. This not only protects the crop, but also ensures food safety standards, aligning with global sustainable agriculture trends. After about 50 to 70 days from planting, pea fields are ready for harvest. But how do farmers know when they're ready? It all depends on the ripeness and internal moisture of each pea. When young, peas are full of water, moist inside with skins just starting to firm up. For soup, peas are left to fully harden before harvesting. But for canned or frozen varieties, they need to be picked earlier when still tender, mildly sweet and plump with moisture. This stage demands speed, as peas are at their peak flavor and nutrition for only a short window. Across hundreds of hectares, specialized harvesting machines operate continuously. The harvester is equipped with a reel and cutting system at the front, functioning similarly to a combine harvester. This system cuts and pulls the entire pea plant, including stems, leaves, and pods, from the ground into the machine. The cutting blades and reel are designed to lift the plants gently, avoiding damage to the pods. The core of the machine is a high-speed rotary drum. As pea plants are fed into the drum, Gentle rotational movement causes the pods to tumble and collide with each other or specially designed surfaces inside the drum. The soft, plump pods open or break lightly under the rotational force, allowing the peas inside to fall out. The drum's design ensures the force is strong enough to separate the peas, but gentle enough to avoid damaging them, preserving their shape and quality. The separated peas fall through perforated screens in the drum's walls. The peas are then transferred to a conveyor belt below the drum, which moves them to a hopper mounted on the machine for temporary collection. Byproducts like empty pods, stems, and leaves are expelled through a blower system or rear discharge mechanism. These byproducts are typically spread back onto the field to decompose naturally, serving as organic fertilizer for the next planting season. When the hopper is full, the peas are transferred to large collection bins towed by a tractor or truck. Some modern machines can automatically transfer peas to large containers with a capacity of up to 60 tons. These modern harvesters can process three to six tons of peas per hour, not only helping farmers complete the task faster and reducing costs, but also ensuring each pea is harvested with consistent quality. The entire process is designed to be swift, ensuring peas are harvested and transported to the processing facility within one to two hours, preserving their freshness and nutritional quality. Although technology has automated the harvesting process, some peas are still hand-picked. Farmers move slowly through the rows, gently lifting each vine to find plump, ready-to-harvest pods. They carefully pluck the pods from the vines to maintain freshness while ensuring the plants remain undamaged for subsequent harvest a few days later. The journey of the pea doesn't end there. 
Immediately after harvesting, green peas are transported to the processing facility within two to four hours to maintain freshness. There, they undergo a rigorous processing procedure. For hand-picked fresh peas, they are selected by skilled workers to ensure the peas reaching consumers are of the highest quality and perfection. They are then washed thoroughly before being packaged and labeled, ready for distribution to consumers within the day. For the processing of fresh, frozen, and canned green peas, first, the peas are thoroughly cleaned through multiple washes using large water tanks, high-pressure water jets, and air bubbles. The washing water is strictly controlled through advanced filtration systems to maintain hygiene standards. Any remaining pods are removed in an automated process, preserving the pea's shape and texture. At the end of the washing line, the green peas undergo manual inspection. Here, trained workers visually check for defects, removing any peas that are broken, discolored, shriveled, or oddly shaped. From here, fresh peas can be packaged in specialized containers and labeled with usage and storage instructions, as well as expiration dates printed on the packaging. For frozen green peas, before freezing, the peas must undergo a critical step, blanching. This heat treatment process is key to preserving their vibrant green color, natural sweetness, and eliminating any hidden bacteria. The peas are fed into a blanching chamber where they are briefly exposed to boiling water or steam, maintained at around 92 degrees Celsius for 80 seconds. Though not fully cooked, the peas are heated just enough to deactivate enzymes that could degrade their flavor, texture, and color over time. Immediately after blanching, the peas are transferred to a rapid cooling system, where they are plunged into ice-cold water maintained between 4 to 5 degrees Celsius. This sudden temperature shift, known as thermal shock, halts the cooking process and helps preserve the peas' crisp texture, mild sweetness, and vibrant green appearance. Finally, the peas pass through a gentle air drying system where fans remove excess surface moisture. Next, the peas pass through a high-tech optical sorting system equipped with color-sensing cameras. These cameras continuously scan and analyze each individual pea as it moves along the conveyor belt, comparing them against pre-programmed criteria for ideal color and shape. They then enter a specialized tunnel called a flow freezer, a high-speed freezing chamber designed for maximum efficiency. Inside, the peas travel along a conveyor belt where they are exposed to ultra-cold air blasted from multiple angles at temperatures as low as minus 39 degrees Celsius. Thanks to this powerful airflow, the internal temperature of each pea drops rapidly to minus 8 degrees Celsius in just 8 minutes. Strong vibrations are applied throughout the process to keep the peas in motion, preventing them from clumping together as they freeze. Once the freezing process is complete, workers perform a final visual inspection to ensure no peas are cracked, deformed, or stuck together in clumps. Finally, the peas are divided into smaller portions and fed into an automatic weighing system in the packaging area. Each portion is carefully measured to ensure every package contains the exact same amount and is vacuum sealed for longer preservation. The finished product is transferred to cold storage, where the temperature is maintained at minus 25 degrees Celsius. This allows the internal temperature of each bag to quickly reach the ideal zero degrees Celsius, the standard for frozen food preservation with labels always displaying details such as production date, expiration date, and product information. 
In addition to frozen peas, green peas are also preserved in cans. After blanching, the peas are filled into cans along with a brine or preservative solution. The cans are tightly sealed and sterilized to ensure food BEF safety. Once complete, the cans are cooled, labeled, and prepared for delivery to consumers. As the sun sets over the vast fields, we realize that behind every tiny pea is the effort of countless diligent farmers, the support of modern technology, and a smoothly operating agricultural value chain. Green peas are not just a food, but a symbol of the blend between tradition and innovation, nature and technology, manual labor, and advanced mechanization. The journey of the pea from the field to the table is a testament to human creativity and hard work. And this story will continue in green fields around the world, where each new harvest opens up hope for a sustainable and promising agricultural future. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to keep exploring fascinating stories about the world of agriculture. See you in the next video.